Good morning. Good morning, guys. Ashley will here. Hashtag replay right now. If you're catching this part of the replay or this part of the video, you are my replay watcher. So hashtag replay and tell me where you're watching from because I would love to connect with you. Okay, so um most of you guys know if you've been following me for any amount of time. Hey Julie! take a moment. Just take a moment. Julie's the first to say hi. Woo! Julie, you're up bright and early. <laughs> okay, guys, if you're just popping on, say hi. Say hey. If you're my live watcher, drop a one in the comments. Hey, Shanley. Okay, um, I'm just going to jump right into this. This is probably going to be a quicker video. Um, hey Susan, but I hope you guys get um, some value from this and you know, it's, it's kind of like, what? Like what? Okay. So if you've been following me for any length of time, um, you know, like I'm positivity, right? I hope when you think of Ashley will, you think of a sunshine <laughs> or posi a positive person um, or happiness because that is so much of what I believe in. Like you have, you just, you have to, to be positive. You have to live it. You have to breathe it if that's what you want in life. Okay. I can't do the negative. Um, now that's not to say like I'm never sad or down or, you know, depressed totally not the case at all, but I just choose not to focus on that. So there's so, I want to talk about information overload. Like you guys hear people talk about all the time, self-development, personal development. I, um, preach this all the time. It's, it is the, the thing. Okay. It is the thing that will change your life. Um, and this one thing that is going to, the number one thing that you can do to improve yourself, you're going to be like, what? But it's so true. So information overload. People talk about self-development, personal development. I talk about it and you're probably like, okay, like there's so many different things that we can be doing to make ourselves better, right? It's information overload. I don't know about you, but if I get too many things like in front of my face, like I just shut down. Like personal development, self-development. You need to eat better, right? Duh. You need to drink more water. You need to sleep. Let's meditate. Um, you know, you need to do all of these things. Vision boards. I was talking about vision boards yesterday. Vision boards, goal, goal setting. You need to write things down. It's information overload. Like, ah, okay. Tomorrow when I wake up, I have to eat really healthy. I have to drink all this water. I have to sleep eight hours a night. I need to go out and get a vision board tomorrow. Like it's information overload. So what do we do? We completely shut down, completely shut down and go back to our old habits the next day. And we say, I'll, I'll do that next week. I'm going to start eating healthy next week, or I'm going to start drinking more water tomorrow. I'll get eight hours of sleep tomorrow. Um, I'll go get that vision board next week, right? When there's information overload, we shut down. I don't know about you, but that's what I do. If there's too many goals, like I can't do it. I shut down. Um, yes, Julie, if you agree, do you agree? <laughs> yes. If you agree, um, that's, that's how I work. So guess where you should start. Guess what the number one thing for self, um, on your journey to improving yourself. Drum roll, please. Let me get real close to you guys for this. Clean your room. Clean your room. That is it. Clean your room. Clean and organize your immediate surroundings. That's it, guys. I'm telling you, it works. It works, it works, it works, it works. Um, I recently just this past week gave somebody um this advice you know their life's crazy and shambles a, a mess there's 50 million things going on guess what sit down and clean 
the space around you. Organize the space around you. That is where you have to start. Um, you guys know you can't start off with these huge goals because our brain is a muscle, right? Our brain is a muscle. We can't start with this um, huge goal of losing 500 pounds or drinking 500 gallons of water or, you know, being a millionaire, whatever your goal is, you can't start off with this huge goal. So tackle something that is really feasible, that that you can do, okay, in an hour, in a couple hours, however messy your place is, but tackle something that you can do and you can get immediate gratification from that. You can get immediate results from that. Um, and that is going to start to train that muscle in your brain that's called self-discipline and work ethic. And I'm telling you, it works. It works when you just start keeping your place clean. I'm telling you guys, um, from when I was 20 to now is a world of difference. It's a world of difference. Like, I'm not kidding now. If there's like a bowl in the sink, I wash it like that. Like, I, I've trained my brain okay my self-discipline my work my work ethic i have to have clean neat work environment it gives me clarity um and it really works when you start and guys in the beginning if you're not used to doing this you have to have self-discipline okay but it's starting small you can train yourself you can train your brain to start to tackle these obstacles. So start by just decluttering the area around you. When you start doing little small things like that every single day, like now I make up all the beds in the house, okay? I There's not dishes in the sink. Like I vacuum every morning. Like it's, I actually look forward to doing it because it's immediate gratification. It's like, oh, fresh, clean. I can breathe and guess what? Our brains are also wired when we look around, our brains are made to look at obstacles, to look at what we can overcome, okay? And so when you're looking around and there's a shirt over there, there's shoes over there, there's dishes over there, there's a laundry pile, and guess what, guys? I very rarely, if ever, have a pile of laundry to do. Like, I can't believe I'm saying that. Like, the laundry goes in the washer, it immediately goes from the washer to the dryer, and then guess what? I actually fold it. <laughs> but I've trained my myself, that's what I'm talking about, guys. I didn't just wake up and thought, oh, I love doing laundry. Like, it's just immediate gratification. Like, I overcame that obstacle, and you see results. Like, I actually do have a very clean laundry room, and I'm super proud of that. <laughs> so... When you start small, guys, when, when you look around and there's obstacles, there's a pile of laundry, right? There's socks, there's shoes, there's dishes. You cannot focus on your actual goal that you want to do to improve yourself. You want to start a small business. Um, you want to move up. You want to promote in your um, wherever you work. You're going for a promotion. You want to lose weight. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can't focus on that when you have all of these other, your brain literally is looking around at all these other little things and you can't fully focus on that. So when the immediate things are taken care of, your brain doesn't have those other obstacles to look at and it has immediate clarity, immediate clarity to focus on that one goal that actually really matters, that actually really matters. So my number one tip for you to improving yourself is clean your dang room. That's it. Clean your room. That's it, guys. That's all I have for you. <laughs> hey, Susan. Sorry, guys. I've not been reading your comments. Hey, Chelsea. I feel so much better when the house is clean. Guys, it's true. And um, my Ashley soon needs to hear this. Seriously, share this video. If you find value in this, please share because I'm telling you, this works. And I didn't just wake up one day, guys, and think, oh, I'm never going to have a dirty dish in the sink or I'm always going to have the laundry done or it's not about being perfect or trying. It's not about that at all. Okay. It's about clarity in your brain and actually focusing on what really matters. I do it for self development. I like to keep things clean and neat for personal development 
because it works and you have to start small and guys if your place is a wreck right now don't try to do everything at once okay clean just clean your bedroom today um and then start working up to making sure your laundry is done because it's it's like anything it's like going to the gym and working out um if we want you know a better body what are we gonna have to do we're gonna have to take our butt to the gym and actually work guess what we're gonna have to eat fewer calories if we want to be happy we're gonna have to meditate we're actually gonna have to take 10 minutes and force ourselves to sit down and meditate and if we want to improve ourselves and actually um, level up in life okay we have to have self-discipline and the perfect way to start that is just cleaning and organizing your immediate surroundings that's it guys that's so it I really agree even if the cats are home when all the toys are arranged <laughs> Chelsea we have two cats too I know exactly what you're talking about so that's it guys I hope y'all found value in this it's so um oh it's so gorgeous out today so I thought I might as well do um my video outdoors David took the kids to Bible school already this morning um and I'm just sitting out on the deck by the pool because I can already do that because I already cleaned in there so I have clarity to actually after I'm done with this video sit down and work on my actual big goal that I have in mind so that's it guys I will talk to y'all later bye